Let's take a look at the four things you need to know for this Memorial Day. Number one, President Donald Trump will mark Memorial Day at Arlington National Cemetery. After returning home from his first foreign trip, he called his nine-day trip overseas a, quote, big success on Twitter. President also denouncing the media for using anonymous sources in stories about the White House. Last night, the president suggested increased spending could be the key to improving the nation's health care system. Number two today marks 100 years since the birth of the 35th president, John F. Kennedy. Before winning the presidency in 1960, Kennedy attended Harvard University, served in the Navy during World War II, and won seats in both the House and Senate. JFK was the youngest man ever elected president. He was assassinated on November 22nd, 1963 in Dallas, Texas. Number three, it is a day of reflection across the country. Memorial Day events will take place to remember the sacrifices meant uh, made by our servicemen and women. Volunteers place flags at Arlington National Cemetery, a nearly 70-year-old tradition known as Flags Inn. Minnesotans can mark the day by paying a visit to Fort Snelling, where a number of ceremonies will be happening this morning. And number four, history was made at the 101st Indianapolis 500 yesterday in a race marred by a series of crashes. It was Takuma Sato who crossed the finish line first. He is the first Japanese driver to win the iconic race. And I don't believe any of the crashes had serious injuries. Nope. So that is no. good news. Remarkable. And had to drink the milk, of course. Of course you do. Today we